Hello and welcome to the 24th financial charting tutorial with Python and Matplotlib. Where we left off, we have this uh, wonderful looking chart. Uh, we've got the RSI added, the MACD added, um, and really, I mean, functionality wise, this chart is done, um, but it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. So that is what we're going to be doing next, is we're going to kind of uh, make it look a little bit better, maybe organize a few things different or color a few things different to make it easier to read. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to close out of this and close out of this. So I think what we ought to do is just kind of go through it one by one and just kind of start at the top here. So the first thing that we do is this candlestick. And uh, let me bring up the chart. I, my complaint is that I think that the candlestick is just a bit too bright. So I want to dim these down a little bit. So we're going to change the hex color codes of those first and I think let me grab the colors here the first one I want to use is uh, for color up will be a 53c156 and color down will be an FF actually I think it's the same thing that we were using yeah so actually we'll just stick with that color down and let's look at the chart now yeah see that helps it a little bit like the green was just too bright I don't know you might disagree but that's the first change I would like to make. The next change I would like to make, let's see, um, we're good there. The, um, oh shoot, let me see here. Yeah, the next thing I would like to do is let's change these colors here. Um, let's put this one up here and then down here. Uh, we'll make this a 4EE6FD. Save that. Let's look at that now. There we go. A little less in your face. And yep. So we'll close out of that. Now, the next thing I want to do is I think we should prune the upper um, Y of AX1. So we'll do that next. Y axis into upper. Prune that. Error in my syntax. There's an error in my syntax. There we go. So now it's not, you know, just coming too close to the RSI line. Okay, so we'll close out of this. Let's continue going down. I think that was it with that. Um, I think we're pretty good with the legend. So we'll continue. Okay, yeah, zero. So the RSI now. Um, what I think would be cool to do with the RSI is use the same color as volume. Make this top line red because that will denote overbought. Make the bottom line green because that will denote oversold and then we'll make the fill color down here green the fill color up here uh, red so close out of that and let's see so here uh, we'll use let's use a dimmer version actually of that so 1a8782 and then we're also going to need a positive color and a negative color and our positive color will be 386D13 and our negative color will be 8F2020 pound there and first let's go ahead and take positive color and the 30 will be our positive color and this will also be positive color. And I think we actually need it over here too. Yeah. Positive color. Then we'll take our negative color and we want that to be here and here and again here. Okay. Let's save that run it and see where we're standing now. Awesome. So we don't really have any fill down here to really <laughs> compare it to. So that's maybe right there. But here you can see, you know, it filled it um, as a red. So, okay. 
So that's that. I think we'll leave the RSI there. I still kind of want to change the color of this line, but I don't really know what to change it to. So for now, um, I think we'll leave that. And let's see. Instead of having the RSI here, we could get rid of the RSI here and add it up here. So I think that's the next thing we'll do. We'll add some text instead. So instead of plot Y label, instead what we can use <clears throat> is some text. So let's add that here. So AXO dot text, and in the text we can use um, 0 0.015, okay, and then uh, 0 0.95, like right on the edge, right? So it goes by 0 and 1. It's kind of like the headspace and width space. Um, and you just kind of guess around and see what it looks like. So we'll say RSI. And we'll just hard code the 14 in here because that's I'm always going to use 14. But if you ever thought you might change it up, you could define a variable and then have it you know, be dy dynamic if you wanted. So that's what it's going to say. Uh, VA, uh, like where is it going to be? The top. The color of the text, W, and then transform uh, AXO dot trans axes. So now, <clears throat> it's just a way to add text basically. Um, RSI 14. So it kind of it looks more official, I guess, and it's just easier. I don't know. I, I think it looks better. You can do whatever you want to do though. The next thing. Um, now that we've done RSI, we really just need to fix up the MACD. So I think I think I'll cut the video here, and then the next video we'll be talking about uh, the MACD. And then there is one more uh, functionality that I'd like to add. So maybe in the next video we'll add that functionality, or maybe in the next video after that, depending on how long we spend uh, fixing up the MACD. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.